Coffee time with John. <laughs> Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another Coffee Time with John. On the back deck, we have very good lighting this morning because it's mildly overcast, so it's got a nice diffused lighting. Uh, it's going to rain this afternoon, so I figured I'd jump out here and make a few videos before, uh, before the rain comes around and while I have this good lighting. So, here we go. Um, so, someone asked the other day about the Gospel of Q, and um, I knew nothing about it, so I asked some questions so I could find out some more, and I, and I went out and I just started searching, I spent a day just searching for everything I could find out about Q, the Gospel of Q, and I'm not talking QAnon, this is not, <laughs> this is not that conspiracy theory stuff. The Gospel of Q. What is the Gospel of Q? Well, it's called the Gospel of Q because, um, well, let me back up. The Gospel of Q is the theory, and let me, let me say that again, it is the theory that there was a source material for the, the Gospel books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It was the theory that those three books came from a singular source, and there's a couple reasons why they think this. Um, number one, they say very much the same thing in very much the same way, um, and so they, you know, scholars believe that it was probably from a singular source. Also, the Book of Luke says that it came from so that, you know, his his stuff came from memory and from source or from a source. From a source. Now it doesn't say what this source was. It does not say whether this source was the book of Matthew or Mark. It just says that, that there, it, he got some of his information from source, from a from a source. He and he didn't think in the in the modern New Age term of source being God. It literally is from sources, like written sources. Um, it got the name Q because. A medieval study about this concept of source used the word quell. Uh, it is a German word. Uh, quell, it means source. And so there, the, the concept of it being the book of Q, a book you'll find that says Q on top of it, is not a reality because of the fact that there is, there is no such thing. It, it literally is a translation of the word source uh, in German, quell. And so the book of Q is actually a, an unnamed source that they have absolutely no information about. They have no um, record of. They have no um, scraps or pieces of. They have they have no information about it. They just think that there is probably a source, mainly because of the theory that there is um, similarities. Very very glaring similarities between Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Um, now, in my deep dive into figuring out what the book of Q was that was being talked about, I discovered that, that a lot of the, the modern um, <laughs> New Age uh, authors have latched on to this Q theory as you know, this is a a book that had better information or new information or or and people are, are leaning into this idea of a Q a book of Q being um, the real truth um, and there's no evidence that when you look at it from biblical scholars and from theologians um, it's a theory that there probably was a source that they all tapped into because the books are similar but there is no evidence anywhere that there actually is a book of Q. Um, the book of Q, as from what I've seen, from what I've read, um, is the theory that there was this one source. Um, but like, that's one of the things that, that I talk about a lot, is that, you know, spirituality is very simple. It's a very simple thing. And it's so simple we have a hard time understanding it. 
And so people start to wrap things around it to, to look for the hidden meanings, the secret uh, methods, the, the techniques. The, the I can't tell you how many times people have asked me for Jesus' hidden teachings. Those are all, that's all, that's all conjecture and storytelling. It's all, they love one another. That's, that's the teachings. That's the teachings, period. But no one um, can believe it's that simple. So they look for, you know, the hidden mystery that they have to search for or hunt for or find this secret book of Q and... I'm fascinated by the th- by the fact that there's a theory. I also believe that the Bible is completely flawed. There's a lot of good truth in it, but I know it's been interpreted, it's been edited, it's been translated. It ha- and it probably in in, so- in many forms has been um, fabricated in some places. Because um, you know there are things that I I see in the Bible that I firmly don't believe you know I, I know that Jeshua did not believe in the Messiah and yet there are things in the Bible that say he claimed it right or, or you know the original text say I'm the son of man didn't say I'm the son of God but they claim that he was the son of God right son of man means he's the same as you and I so when I look at the, this whole this whole thing about the Book of Q, you have to look at the Book of Q from multiple angles, from the scientific research. Uh, you, you have to realize it's a theory that there was an earlier source for three books of the Bible. It got named Q because of the word "quell," a German word, and a study about the the concept of a a uh, a source prior to those books. And the word quell was where the Q came from. But all the stuff that's happening now where they're talking about the hidden secret knowledge that was there and all that stuff. um, And the secret book that's supposed to decipher everything. That's modern New Age junk that's being dropped around. Dropped around. A theory. A scientific theory. There's no evidence or proof of any of it. There's no... the 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 only thing that leads them down that path is um, similarities between those three books and Luke saying that, that he got some of his information from a source. That That is all there is about the, the, the book of Q scientifically. Everything else is stories wrapped around that information. And I have often said that, you know, when something's there, people will build their story around it. People will, will create their things. And you know what? Look online right now. You will find books about the Book of Q. You will find all kinds of things about the Book of Q. But there's, I mean, there's no evidence of it. There's just this theory that they that they must have because they sound the same. So, um, could there have been an earlier source that they died that they tapped into? Sure. But why does it have to have hidden or secret knowledge? Why does it have to decipher all the different things? It doesn't. It doesn't. That that is what is being sold right now by people who are selling books. Um, remember, as I said, the books are not Je- are not Jeshua. The Bible is not Jeshua. The Bible is not holy. The Bible is not sacred. Because if the Bible were holy and sacred, then you're setting it apart as something, you know, as as above us all and if you believe that and you believe in the infallibility of the Bible then you then you should go out and get a slave and beat it but just not to death because that's what Paul said you can you can beat your slave just not to death right you know you can you can have bears kill children for, for making fun of a bald man you can have Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt just for looking back you know, there's a whole bunch of just unloving things that God is supposed to have done in the in the Bible, and if God is love, which I truly believe God is, that is my truth. If God is love, then that Bible is flawed. 
in that and any of those painful hurtful you know, fear based beliefs are not of God and there's a ton of it in there there's a ton of it in the Bible and so my thought on Q I, it's an interesting scientific theory but there's no empirical evidence that, that it even exists so that's my thought on, on the book of Q uh, I hope this has uh, informed some of you about a ladybug just landed on me about um, about this information some of you probably didn't even know of it I didn't know of it when, I, when it was first brought to my attention so I went ahead and did the deep dive so you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon see ya bye thank you my friends for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it you share it but also comment below it let's get this community talking about these topics and, and spreading this information out far and wide so we can change the world for the better thank you